Do you think this is a custom visual? No. These dynamic column charts are plotted inside Power BI Matrix Visual. In this video, I'm going to show you the technique to create such functionalities inside your table or matrix visuals. Let's create it from the scratch. All right. Here I have this matrix visual, which is showing the capacity utilization of the resources on different projects. I have the basic measure to calculate the utilization percent. But if I use this new utilization measure, my visual is completely changed. In this video, you will not only learn how to create this chart, but you will actually learn to create many such visuals. So without a further ado, let me open a new PBX file and create this new measure. Before I start writing this measure, let me explain what we need to do. We know that the matrix supports images, but we need to use SVG code extended with XML structure. So first of all, we will define this. This shows that below we are going to extend the SVG file with XML and the encoding is UTF-8. Now, for this example, I just need a couple of rectangles. So I can just open this website and check the SVG code for the rectangle. From here, I will copy this code and paste it as part of our DAX measure. To use this code into a DAX measure, I need to replace all these double quotes to single quotes. For now, I am changing this color. Later we need to apply dynamic colors here. If you want to test this measure, you need to change its category to image URL. And then, you can select your visual, remove the existing measure, and replace with this new measure. The values area inside my matrix visual is filled with small rectangles. Since I need one more rectangle, so I can just copy the code of the rectangle part and change its values. As of now, I am hard coding these values for its height and the color. And we will make it everything dynamic in a moment. I am explaining this so that you can actually add any SVG objects and not only the rectangles. Since in this example, we need column charts, so I am using only rectangles. As said, we can change all these values based on our requirements. Now, I will create two variables using DAX. For the filling, I can use the utilization percentage measure concatenated with single quotes because this entire expression's output is in the form of text. My second variable is for dynamic colors. So I will again start with a single quote and then I need to validate the utilization values with any defined logic. Here, I am validating. If utilization is greater than or equal to 85% then color one, if it is between 75 to 85% then color two, otherwise color three. These colors you can replace with color hex codes of your choice. I am using these three codes. As said, you can have the colors based on your requirements. Before I start adding these variables in below return statement, I need to apply one important modification to my first variable. The height of the SVG is 400. The rectangle is starting 100 below from the top. We know that the X and Y axis zero position starts from the top left corner. So, the effective height of the bar is 400 minus 100, which is 300. It means I need to mention my filling as 300 minus utilization into 300. My next step is to apply my variables and respective places. For the first rectangle, I will replace the fill value with my color variable. Similarly, I will replace the height of the second rectangle with the filling variable. The color of this rectangle should be light gray in this case. Now let's see how this looks like. And here we go. We have this dynamic colorful columns inside our matrix visual. The last thing we need to do is to add the text part of it so that we will also see the values. And for this, we can just use this SVG code for the text and change all these single quotes to double quotes. For the values, we can use utilization percentage measure. Since this is text, we need to apply format function on top of our measure. And finally, we are ready with our solution. This way, you can use many different kind of SVG images and change its attributes to fit into your requirements. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.